Welcome back to another update on my cedar strip kayak build for the micro bootlegger. I just got finished fiberglassing the inside of the deck and doing another layer around the inside of the combing. I had to fill some spots. Uh, I used cabosil to thicken the epoxy on the inside of the deck that'll never be seen unless you stick your head up in the hatch. Also had a pretty big spot back here in the back. Uh, these spots here are where you can kind of see the the deck made a weird I don't know, transition from the side to the back deck and the, the strips were just all types of messed up. And then through here, I had to fill some. The strips coming this way were recessed far enough from this center mahogany strip that if I were to try to sand that mahogany strip enough to line up, I would just be sanding for the rest of the year, I think. So I just filled it. But we'll let this dry a couple of days and I have to install some deck hardware while I have access to the inside of the deck for the um, bungee cords. On the front and the back, I'm going to do one up here and then one back here. And then I'm also going to do uh, a deck mount probably around right here on both sides. And that'll be for uh, just a, a loop made out of the quarter inch uh, bungee material. And that'll be for one of the sets of hooks for my seats for the front. And then I gotta do another one farther back, somewhere around here or so, um, for the back seat. My plan is to take the deck and put it on top of the hull and temporarily tape it into place to, so I can go around and mark where I want all of the deck hardware. I only did one fill coat. Um, this is the underside of the deck, like I said, so you won't really be able to see any of this. I'm not doing hatches on the front or the back, so I'm not really worried about you being able to put your head inside and, and look around. Uh, right now, my current idea, there will be a bulkhead here out of this thick foam. This, this very thick um, closed cell foam. And then there will be another bulkhead probably around here or so. I need to make sure I got to figure all that out still because the the back of the front seat goes somewhere here in the middle and I need to make sure that you got room to stretch your legs out without hitting the bulkhead. And then my plan right now is to cut a hole in the middle of the two bulkheads and put a, a hatch on the actual bulkheads for getting stuff into the bow and the stern of the boat. Um, I 3D printed uh, a hatch clamp. I based it off of uh, cam locks like you would normally see on boats where they have the, the D-ring and you lift the D-ring up and then you twist it and there's a big latch that it flips back and forth uh, for hatches on boats. Um, I didn't like the idea of trying to do the D-rings uh, or the D-latches, cam latches, clamp cam latches, 
Uh, if I'm wearing gloves, trying to get your finger in there to open that up would be difficult. Um, so the design I came up with basically uses a big knob with two lock nuts to pinch the hatch and then um, a 3D printed uh, hook that will go over the back side of the foam and you know you'll be able to twist it into place to to latch it down. I'll show that off when we get a little bit closer. I think I probably still have some a couple of iterations to do on the hatch idea. I need to test it out with some cheap plywood and some parts of the foam. I was able to fix the bubbles, the pockets that were here. Um, I cut them out, sanded them smooth, and then when I overlapped my fiberglass, I was able to get rid of them. Looks like I may have a bubble right there that I missed. But I'll be able to clean those up too. I have, uh, yeah. I have a couple of bubbles on the underside of my um, combing that I have to figure out what to do. I'm probably going to end up cutting this entire section out and fiberglassing a new piece of cloth in. And then there's this weird fiberglass. From the best I can tell, as, as I was trying to do this, the deck was flipped the other way and gravity just was not my friend there. So, I have some cleanup to do on the underside of the combing. And we'll talk about all the sanding I have to do from where I forgot to tape off and have nothing but runs, but that'll be later on. The combing lip on this side, yeah, it did the same thing to me. Got a pretty big section here that's just one big bubble. I mean, it's hard, it's solid, but you'll never see it. Might as well fix it though. The boat's been sitting too long, I already got spiders trying to put webs on it. All right, that's where we're at. Thanks for watching.